Took a swing at a wrecking ball and I prayed for my downfall and I found a way to reconcile Cause in my heart it's not worthwhile It's a bloody battlefield where some go down, others heal In the end it's all the same All you can do is play the game When I get out of here, and I will, there's going to be carnage. Hi guys, and welcome back to Movies That Matter with the Viking. And that was my best Woody Harrelson carnage impression. There's my, kind of carnage, I think it's carnage. That's my, yeah. Out of Venom, I can't find it. I better find it for the sequel. But, Venom, supposed to come out in October 2020 and now another one bites the dust the coronavirus has taken another film that I was really looking forward to and pushed it so we have to wait until June 2021 for Andy Serkis taking over the Venom franchise as director starring Tom Hardy of course and Woody Harrelson we have to wait a long time more yet I like the first Venom it was a bit of fun, it wasn't anything special, it wasn't anything new to the comic book genre, it was okay. But, it made 850 million, and that's the power that Spider-Man can do, a Spider-Man property. Everyone loves Spider-Man, they always do well at the box office. But, um, I enjoyed it, it was what it was, and post credit scene, it was cheesy as F. But, um, look, it was trying to set up its own universe, but uh, they released a, a, a title of it yesterday. It says, Venom. Let there be carnage. Yeah, it's okay. I don't mind it. I think it's pretty okay. It's not nothing special or anything. Let there be carnage. Um, there's gonna be carnage. But um, it's an okay title. They could have called it something else. But the title doesn't really matter. It's it's all about the quality of the film. The title at the end of the day is nothing. So I'm looking forward to it. The release date has changed. Um, we you looking forward to the film? Are you looking forward to seeing Andy Serkis' take? I think it has the potential of being a way better film than the first. Even though the first was very good and I enjoyed it, I think it has the potential of this one taking it to absolute new levels. Tom Hardy, again, has posted a picture of Venom eating what appears to be Spider-Man in his mouth. So that's probably uh, setting things up for Tom Holland, Holland's Spider-Man to appear maybe in Venom 3 or for Venom to appear in the third um, MCU edition of the Spider-Man series but he has, he's done that a few times now teasing that my prediction is I think we're going to see Spider-Man at the end of Venom 2 in a post credit scene like we've seen Carnage uh, it's going to set teams up and then when the when the Spider-Man deal with Marvel ends are they going to renew that contract or are Sony going to take that Spider-Man and that's bring him into their universe then but then as Venom is it is Venom a part of the MCU then and Venom 2? So it's kind of messy that way. But I'd rather if Sony had their own universe to kind of match, to rival the MCU, to match DCU. I like uh, these different kind of universes where you can get different potential of characters and different scenarios. That's why I was always a big fan of the X-Men series because even though it wasn't perfect, you never knew what you were going to get with each film. The film could have been great, it could have been bad, it could have been a masterpiece like Logan. Days of Future Past is brilliant. X Men 1 and 2. Wolverine, I enjoyed. Origins was poor. First Class was a nice, professional film. Dark Phoenix was okay. Things like that. You never knew what you were going to get because different directors came in, different stamps, and it wasn't set to one formula. That's why I was excited to see and hear Venom was coming. And I'm even more excited to see that Andy Serkis is the director. And then they're implementing characters like Carnage, Woody Harrelson coming in, high profile actors. So I'm really excited about that. But I'm disappointed that we don't get to see it this year. I'm sure it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. But it comes next summer, 2021. Let me know what your thoughts of Venom changing its release date. Are you looking forward to seeing Andy Serkis? Are you looking forward to see Woody Harrelson take on a, a superhero or a comic book villain role? I love Woody Harrelson in absolutely anything. So I'm sure he's going to be great. But let me know. See you next time, guys.